Hello everyone! Well, one of the last major stores before the Olympics started in Minsk. In general, most gymnasts also refused to participate in such tournaments, but it is still interesting to follow them, since here we get acquainted with the stars who will shine in the near future. And of course, we'll learn about the level and stability of the gymnasts who are waiting for the Olympics. Well, in this video I will tell you how the first day of the Challenge Cup stage in Minsk went, who took part and who is in the lead. Well, let's talk about the surprises of the tournament, so a lot of interesting things await us. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos. And by the link in the description, I remind you that you can support me with donations. I'll be really happy. The Challenge Cup stage will be held in Minsk from 2nd to 4th of July. This is the penultimate tournament of this level. If the tournament in Moscow is not cancelled, although judging by the gymnasts who are declared there, everything goes to this. Either the situation with the COVID is getting worse, or the gymnasts simply go into the energy saving mode mode and prepare for Tokyo. You can write in the comments what do you think on this issue, because today only a little more than 20 gymnasts participated in the tournament, and at the moment only 9 have been announced in Moscow, so let's see how this goes. Well, first let's discuss the details from the tournament and then move on to the results. First of all, what needs to be noted is the hall in which the tournament took place. Its design looks very cool and looks like a very cool commercial tournament to me. Well, about the broadcast, I can't help but be greeted by a broadcast on the TV channel and on YouTube, also with close-ups and beautiful filming. In general, it was a pleasure for me to watch the tournament today. I really love it when they shoot beautiful and there are large shots as well. Since you can see emotions and wear of the gymnasts, and in general, you can take a closer look at the girls. Well, and another interesting point. As you usually know, competitions are held on a turnable. Uh, as you already know, most competitions are held in a turnable mode. One girl performs with a hoop, another with a ball, then again with a hoop, and again with a ball. And so the whole stream goes. But at this tournament, they made a schedule as expected for gymnasts at the Olympic Games. And in fact, the girl performs first with the hoops, then all with balls. As for me, this is an interesting approach. While for girls, gaining an experience who will go to Tokyo is in fact a rehearsal for the Olympics. Although when the spe species change, they say it's more watchable for viewers. Although for me, it's cool. Write in the comments which side are you on, so that everyone first performs with one view and then with another or a spinner. It will be interesting to see and compare how many people like what order. Well, about the losses of the tournament. Ekaterina Vitineva was announced for the tournament, but at the last moment she withdrew from the tournament. In her Instagram she wrote that some kind of failure would happen. She did not write in details, but let's hope nothing serious, especially at the moment Katya is listed in Moscow. Well, another loss of the tournament is the Russian national team and group exercises. The team was on the list until the last day, but did not come to the tournament. This moment is the most strange for me. All the more knowing that there is no, not one squad of the national team in Russia. And if not the main squad, then why not send a second or third team? or even some team from St. Petersburg or Moscow, which would gladly visit at competitions of this level. For me, it is a very offensive moment, reading that we have someone to perform in our country. Perhaps, of course, they were afraid of contacting the COVID, but again, the question is why the personal gymnast went, and even more so Lala Kramarienka, who is in fact preparing to go with the entire Olympic team as a spare gymnast. In general, this is a strange moment, and for me, it is very incomprehensible. Well, now, that we have discussed all the points concerning the tournament, we can proceed to the results of the first day. Today in the individual program, gymnasts performed with two types, earning points for the all-around medal and qualified for the finals of certain apparatus. So according to the results of the first day, the leader in the all-around is the gymnast of Belarus, Alina Gatnesko. Alina went through the programs very well, in fact, according to the results of which she is the lead. Following her immediately is Lala Kramarenka gymnast from Russia. And here's an interesting moment, Lala performed very well with the ball today, but she's not allowed into leadership positions yet. And here there are several assumptions. The first is of course a lack of complexity. After all, Lala tricks is element that make it harder to gain complexity. On this issue, by the way, on the Pirati Club's YouTube channel we filmed an interesting video. Be sure to watch it if you missed it. They were just compared what is better, to be flexible? or to have a better work with apparatus. Another option is that Lala has not yet or earned her place on the world stage. But here again, the previous cycles come to mind, when Yana Kudryavtsova bypassed everyone at her first tournament, without question, and was not held back. Well, here, accordingly, there is another option, is drawn in my head, that Lala is not very popular at the world level, or the whole point is that the competitions are held in Belarus, and they still try to help their own gymnasts. 
In general, this moment is also interesting for me since Lala does not make serious mistakes, but she does not overtake gymnasts from other countries, or the era of Russian's permanent leadership has come to an end. In general, there are a lot of thoughts, and I think that with each start it will become clearly and clearly what kind of joke it is. But for now, we can only guess. You can write in the comments your opinion on what do you think about it. Well, about Lala's performance, I think that everything, every time I like her more and more. There is still something in her. It's not for nothing that Regina Alexandrovna is promoting her so much. Anastasia Salas is deserted the all-around race, and today, unfortunately, Nastya made a very gross loss in the ball, which pulled her back very hard, but as you can see, not strong enough to lower her from the podium. But to justify, there are no particularly strong gymnasts from the world elite at this tournament. The fourth in the all-around was Nicole Zelikman. She's quite a bit of the bronze. But I don't think that tomorrow she will be able to overtake the Belarusian gymnast. Only if Nastya will lose herself with losses. But it will be interesting to see. We know Nicole as a stable gymnast, but Anastasia Salas, on the contrary, likes to surprise with such things. So the podium will definitely be intriguing. While another Russian gymnast, Daria Trubnikova, I think will also be able to compete for the all-around medals. Today, unfortunately, everything is out of control. A very gross loss in the exercise with the hoop was allowed, which is why Dasha sank so low. But the gap for the third and fourth places is not that big, and Dasha is a very pretty gymnast, at least for my taste. So I think she will come together tomorrow too. Although according to today's performance, it seemed to me in general that Dasha is not in her best shape now. But in terms of textures and settings, I like her. The sixth place in the all-around was taken by Kristina Pogranichne. From her today, I was delighted with her suit with a ball and music. Just wow. I love the gymnast very much, and I would like to see her at the Olympics. But as I understand, in Ukraine, everything has already been decided in favor of Viktoria Naprienka and Vlada Nikolchenka. Well, there was a rather strange moment after the exercise with the ball. Either she grabbed something or she almost fell. I hope it's not a matter of injury, but such thoughts crept into my mind. The seventh in the all around after the first day was Salome Pajava. In eighth place is Tatiana Balazhanina from Bulgaria, right behind her is her friend from the team Stiliana Nikolova. And the top 10 after the first day is closed by the Israeli gymnast Adia Siakt. I did not find official protocols after the first day and the assessments online were broadcast. But there were periodically failures and incorrect assessments were written, so there may be an error in months. But I kind of tried to double check everything. Well, about the finals in the hoop. Well, see Alina Garnesko, Anastasia Salas, Lala Kramarienka, Nicole Zelikman, Kristina Pogranichna, Daria Trubnikova, Elizaveta Polstanaya, and Salome Pajava. And in the final was the ball, Alina Garnesko, Lala Kramarienka, Nicole Zelikman, Daria Trubnikova, Kristina Pogranichna, Anastasia Salas, Tatiana Vlazhanina, and Salome Pajava. There was also quite an interesting situation in the group today. Let's start with the fact that only four teams take part in this competition. The team of Uzbekistan became the leader after the first day. And if we don't know who took part, we know that the team of Uzbekistan is strong and they can lead if there are no major world leaders. But they were from this, the upcoming Olympics become more interesting and intriguing. The second after the first day is the team of Israel. Only third place was taken by the Bulgarian team, and the team of Belarus is still in fourth place. And if the team of Belarus made a rather big loss, then I honestly did not understand what happened to the Bulgarians. In Europe, they performed much more energetically, while well, I am very happy for the gymnasts of Uzbekistan. Well, in the group finals, I think it's clear that everyone will pass. And that's all for us, guys. Tomorrow will be a more interesting day, since the fate of the medals will be decided. And as you understand, today it's very ambitious, and there is someone to get sick and worry about. So see you tomorrow, and remember that I love you all. For now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Sasha Sinitsa.